Round 3 of the Virtual Two Championship, we visit Okayama International Circuit. For this event, a new alternative layout was chosen by the organizers, featuring two Manji sections, banked corners, and long walled zones. This layout at first glance seems quite simple, but has turned out to be one of the most technical drift layouts to date. So after missing round two of VDC due to our travels in Oman, it was really great to get back into the championship once again and really get competing. Uh, I love VDC, I love competing in esports competitions as well on this sort of course in general. Um, but sometimes the championship pressure gets to you, you know, and when you miss out an event like that, especially when VDC is more about consistency, um, it certainly puts you on the back foot. And, you know, you kind of have to put yourself at a position and say, look, I might not get the championship this year. We missed an event. And it, because of that, I felt I had no pressure. We made some good changes to the car coming into this event, which felt really, really good. I was driving the way that I always want to drive. I felt comfortable and didn't really have that pressure, so I felt pretty relaxed, and I think that really shows in our qualifying. So as we leave the start line for our two qualifying runs, run on the left is our first run, run on the right is our second, and I think it's kind of hard to tell apart the difference. I do believe I, it, the first run could have been scored a little bit higher versus the second run. Um, the scores, I will say, at the end, you'll be kind of uh, amazed by, uh, but the runs are looking pretty good. I think the only biggest difference here is run number two on the right does better uh, entry into this uh, outside zone 5 um, and going into outside zone 6 here uh, you can see I'm a bit shallow on the wall Th that last wall uh, was a killer of a lot of battles and last thing I wanted to do was to lose, um, uh, get a 0 after doing a fantastic run like that so it did take a little bit easier at the end uh, we did get it 97 on run 1 and then we got 98 on run 2 so absolutely perfect qualifying session for us and I do think those 2 points that we lost were on that first part of the wall uh, on zone 7 so let's get straight into battles for our top 32 battle. We had Lazam in his A90 Supra. Lazam from uh, South Africa. And he's doing a really good job here in his um, A90 Supra. But as you can see in the first run here, we have a bit of a proximity gain on the on the first half of the corner, on the first half of the run. And uh, Lazam really closes up near the end here. But we're just really kind of uh, playing with him for the most part. Um, as we go into outside zone uh, 6 here, as you can see, Lazam really closes up on the door here. But we're really matching angle. We're really staying with him. Now, if you look on the left-hand side here, as the camera changes right about now, you'll actually see there's a bit of contact from Lazam, and that puts us into the wall. And so, really, on the run on the right, we didn't really need to push any harder than what we did, um, especially after the first run. So, uh, yeah, we ended up having a 10-0 advantage going into that second run. Um, and so, because of that, we just had to do an easier chase run. I think we did a very good chase run regardless. And, uh, yeah, we ended up getting the win and moving on to the top 16. So, again, let's do another split run, this time with Ahmed Alamri. Ahmed um, Al Harbi, my apologies, uh, in his E92 BMW. And as you can see, again from the start, we're carrying more angle. Ahmed had really struggled to match our angle through the first couple of zones. I think there might have been a bit of contact as well on that first transition, uh, but we're really sucking up to him here and we're really pushing him around the track and really trying to match angle and, and follow his line everywhere and really show that we're mimicking and doing exactly what the judges want. And uh, that's one thing I think Ahmed lacked in his chase run. Uh, our lead run, I think we won, and I also think we won the chase run. And uh, yeah, with that battle, I think it was pretty clear cut. We end up getting the win and moving on into the top eight. Now, this battle is the Battle of Titans, I suppose you could say, up against Zach O'Sullivan. A repeat from round one for me. So yeah, this particular battle, I have to make sure I hit all my marks. Do my lead run that I did all um, throughout the whole battles and the qualifying earlier. And as you can see, Zach is really mimicking us here, but he's not really pushing us around the track. He's right there with us, but he's not really uh, taking advantage. There's a bit of a lag spike there. That was on the server side. Um, but as you could see, again, yeah, he's there with us, but not doing anything uh, out of the ordinary. And he's not really making the, the advances onto the door like he should really be doing. Um, and so as we switch positions here, I do think we have an advantage on our side here. So all we have to do is obviously do a very, very nice clean chase position behind them. And uh, unfortunately, I don't really feel like I gave him the chase that, that I wanted. Um, he did a great lead, but I feel like my chase throughout this whole run, I didn't really do much better than what he did, if I'm honest. Um, and so this is probably a battle that could have gone one more time. There was a dirt drop there from Zach on one of the outside zones. We do carry a little bit more angle going into him here, but we do really close up the proximity here into the final transition. And to be honest, between his dirt drop there on clip four and uh, our proximity in the last corner with a little tap across the line, I do believe we edged enough to get a win over him. Uh, but I could see it going one more time easily there. And, I, and Zach and I both agreed after that run, uh, that yeah it wasn't our best driving we could have done a much better show for the spectators but also um, we could have done a much better job on the track as well so here we are in the top four and we're now up against Brandon Patrick in his 599 Ferrari Ferrella and this thing is a massive uh, big car and it's obviously quite intimidating when you're coming up the transition behind it 
but when he's chasing you all you see is just the headlights uh in the rear view mirror and as you can see here as we go up the hill here brandon kind of wobbling up along the hill and as we transition here to outside zone number six here as you can see brandon right there with us we start to drop back a little bit as we go into this final transition brandon really closes up on the proximity uh but maybe a little bit too late for him as he come across the finish line here brandon really pushing us across the line and uh, yeah, great job there from Brandon. Probably some improvements he could make. I do think our lead run was super strong. So going into this run, I do believe it was like an even or, or even advantage on our side. So as we initiate here, again, I just wanted to have a good proximity. But as you can see, Brandon's after dropping a wheel. And as we transition to the first Manji section here, and we go up along the hill, we really suck up onto Brandon's door. But we give him a bit of space down the down the straight, down the, the Manji section, and really dive back again onto his door. We're nearly pushing him around this outside zone number six. And as we now finally transition into final outside zone and uh yeah we're again right there with brandon he's doing a fantastic wall run and it was a really push him across the finish line there and yeah that was probably my favorite chase run of the night uh, again i got some good runs with brandon in practice during uh the week leading up to it and it felt really good chasing him so i kind of knew um his strengths in, in those areas and he was really able to commit to outside zone number six going down the hill there so i knew i could really tack there um, and so yeah it was a, it was great to battle with brandon it's always a pleasure to battle with him so yeah we end up getting the win moving on into the finals okay final time versus quain ebanks so quain with his nissan gtr all the way from jamaica and as you can see we initiate in here again and we have a really good angle right on the edge of the track as quain is right there with us uh, but he's not really dooring us just yet as we go up along the hill up to clip number four as you can see he's right there let's go through outside zone five now we go into the diesel of six and uh, yeah, we're doing a really good job here. Quain could be a little bit closer. I think he shadows up on the line here to stay, uh, to keep the proximity. And as we transition into the final outside zone, we're really on the wall there. But Quain's right there with us, kind of pushing us across the finish line with a bit of contact on the front wheel. So let's switch positions here. And as you can see, we're now chasing a Quain Ebanks. And uh, yeah, we have to be careful here. Quain had a, a few collisions with some other drivers in diesel zones. So I kept that in mind going into these uh, diesel zones. We'll point them out in, in a moment. But I give a bit of space in the first couple of transitions, but really close up in the proximity going up along the hill here and nearly take his bumper off on the final uh, on the final Manji transition. But this first diesel zone here, a few drivers did have a contact with Quain. And this final diesel zone right coming up right now. Again, Quain not doing anything wrong here. It's just his car is pretty quick at decelerating. And I had to make sure I give a bit of space on those diesels not to make the mistakes that other people have made. And uh, with that, we had a really good chase run on him. And it was enough for us to get the win and win uh, round three of the VDC. So absolutely stoked with that. Amazing event. Thank, can't thank all the VDC staff. Those guys that do a fantastic job. And um, yeah, this car is feeling really, really good now. I'm feeling really good going into the final couple of rounds of the VDC season. So that is where we're going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give this video a like and we will see you guys all very, very soon.